Sharon, thank you. Uh, and I'm very grateful uh, to have this opportunity uh, to, to do this. And it's a topic I've been talking to Anna and the bishops and others about. Um, and there is there are three or four short slides. Uh, I will not detain Synod long, but this is really by way of alerting Synod and therefore all parishes around the diocese to um, what is going to be a spectacular festival uh, next year. Um, it is in honour and to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, the most remarkable historic personal achievement, but also a uh, worldwide achievement, especially for the UK and the Commonwealth, uh, to have achieved 70 years um, since accession, not coronation. Um, and so um, our Lord Lieutenant, Lady Euston, who is the inspiration behind the festival, wondered how best to how best Suffolk could join the national celebrations to, uh, to mark this Platinum Jubilee. And if I could just have the, the, the next slide, uh, Lorna, please, thank you. There are uh, several principles to the festival. One is that it must be for everybody, every community, uh, e every person, wherever you live, work, learn, or visit in Suffolk, we want the festival to touch uh, your life, your community. Uh, and it's an opportunity for a great coming back together following the pandemic uh, to connect communities uh, as well as people and also to make sure that we have a festival that not only celebrates um, the Queen's Jubilee, but we have a festival to celebrate everything Suffolk achieves in terms of its community life. Um, but also it needs to be a festival that has a legacy, what I call uh, the so what moment, when we've all had a great celebration and coming back together next year, uh, so what? Uh, and over the next three years, we will be building, the county and all its organisations, we hope, will be building a fund in excess of £5 million to be able to help and support those particular issues that are challenging in Suffolk. And there's something called the Hidden Needs Report, that's, the third edition was recently published, um, by the University of Suffolk and the Suffolk Community Foundation. And it tells us that by some measures, Suffolk is home to some of the worst uh, and deteriorating areas of deprivation um, in the country. So we see the festival as a fantastic celebration, but also as an incentive and a moment to start turning the handle on a lot of those, uh, to tackling a lot of those issues and supporting the thousands of organizations and people that are working on those issues already. And as I said to Bishop Martin and to Anna um, several times, um, I, I see my passion for the Church of England in Suffolk, uh, which is exemplified by the work of Sally and Carol, as we've heard this morning, and, and many others and their teams around, right around the county. Um, you know, the church is the largest voluntary organisation in the county. We have a reach that no other organisation uh, has into every community and into virtually every, everybody's lives. So I do see the festival, if the diocese and parishes wish to, wish to take up the challenge, I do see this as an opportunity to promote and support and to put a spotlight on the work of the church at the heart of local communities. And this is where the connection, the festival makes a real live uh, uh, connection with uh, the work of communities that we are all passionate about and supporting. So if I just have the, the next slide, uh, please. Um, it, when I talk about communities, I don't want you to think I'm falling into the trap of talking only about geographical communities, our towns, our villages, our deaneries, our parishes. A community we're defining as a festival as communities of interest. So whatever ethnic group you belong to, whatever hobby group you belong to, whatever your family is involved in, wherever you live, work, learn or visit, as I've said, um, self-selecting communities, that is the definition of community. And Suffolk is a a very self-effacing, modest county, as we all know. We, we just get on quietly doing remarkable things. Um, but we see the festival as a moment to come out and shine a very positive, bright spotlight on all Suffolk is achieving. And we all know that right at the heart of that is the work of the church. Uh, not only are, are people who, who worship uh, with and around us every week and support us with giving and in so many other ways, um, you know, the, the communities uh, depend on the work of those in the church. I know in my local church, um, not only do we support the work of the local church, but we also support the work of countless organisations uh, within the village. Uh, and, and so this is, I see, as a big moment for the church to, um, uh, to show off 
uh, uh, its work and its commitment uh, and what it wants to achieve, what we want to achieve in the, uh, in, in the diocese. And the next slide, and there's only this one and one more, so I'm not going to keep you long. Are in, there is an invitation, which I'm coming on to in a second, to get involved and be involved. Uh, but there will be uh, a, a, a vast range of, of, of events that will happen uh, next year's Jubilee. The planning is really gaining momentum. I've spoken this week alone to over 350 representatives of organisations across the county, and there's a growing, a growing momentum and enthusiasm for the festival and what it can achieve for recovery, resetting and recharging our county following the misery of the last 18 months or so. There are uh, 450 events that happen in Suffolk anyway in a normal year in the county, and wouldn't it be lovely to have a normal year again? Uh, everything from the Beckles Carnival to Albra Food and Drink Festival, you name it, we all go to many of them and, and love them. We're not wanting to distract from those events, but we're wanting those events in communities to, um, uh, to adopt the festival theme uh, and to celebrate the Jubilee. Then there are some overarching events, and here they are on the screen. I won't go into them in detail, there isn't time, but um, this is really just to alert you to more information heading your way uh, uh, within coming weeks and, and, and months, and to be involved in the festival. So big festival of the sea, uh, festival concerts. We're planning one concert for 30,000 people at Trinity Park near Ipswich. Uh, business Expo to celebrate business excellence and to boost talent and opportunity and aspiration for young people. Newmark is putting on a special race day. The youth games are going to be revived in, in Suffolk, the school um, um, uh, youth games. The Queen's Green Canopy, you have seen uh, in the media today, the Queen and Prince Charles have planted uh, the first tree for the Queen's Green Canopy. We're hoping to plant 770,000 trees across Suffolk, one for every resident uh, and, and, and more. Uh, and, and that is going to be uh, the most incredible effort. And I know a lot of you on the call, including Bishop Martin, are nurturing and growing and planting trees uh, in parishes and in churchyards, and that's fantastic. Festival marathon, not only for elite athletes, but for couch to 5K, and believe me, I'm more couch than 5K, never mind a, an elite athlete. Uh, but we can all get up and boost our health and well-being, boost enterprise, strengthen communities, improve volunteering, and at the heart of it all will be our communities where the church is alive and well uh, and, and in a position to lead a lot of the festival celebrations. There'll be beacon lightings. We're inviting people to have community big lunches. Um, church bells may be, may, may be rung. There's going to be a big, uh, which Bishop um, Martin will be, of course, be leading at the cathedral, a, a Thanksgiving service in June next year but we're hoping to replicate that service throughout parishes that may wish to have their own local service. So there's lots of exciting things happening. And the final slide, and thank you for allowing me this time, Sharon, is, is the invitation from the festival team. We'd love you to be involved. We'd love the Church of England uh, parishes, deaneries, right across the diocese to be right at the heart of this celebration. Let's, as a, as a synod and as, as a diocese, utilize and use in the best possible sense this festival, this Jubilee celebration, to shine a very bright spotlight on what we all do and our commitment and our love of community and church and people and causes. And let's use uh, this moment for next year to really continue to make that difference and boost and support the work uh, of Sally and Carol and, and the, all the other projects we're involved in. It is a big opportunity and we'd love to keep you updated uh, with information about the festival as plans develop, but also what your ideas might be. And the, uh, there is a, a website which we will um, make sure is in the, in the paper, uh, Suffolk, festival of Suffolk.org. Um, that is the uh, focus of information uh, as the website grows in coming weeks and months. Thank you for this time involved. I hope you see it as an exciting opportunity and we'll keep you updated with progress, but please um, go back to your um, uh, parishes and, and encourage people to learn more, hear more about it, and to see how you might like to get involved. Thank you again, Sharon, for this time.